yeah, so we're back potentially for the last time. Oh. And we've never done it before and we just thought we'd give it a go. The place where we're heading to is of massive ancient historical significance. It feels weird and strange saying this. Uh, when we said it was shocking, it is shocking. So what is that big decision? <clears throat> Here goes. We are going to be... Welcome back to the channel. We're Janine and Liam Day, a married couple who've been doing full-time van life in the UK for the last three years. As you know from the previous video, we've been faced with some very difficult decisions recently about the future of us doing van life. It's time to share with you the decision we have made, but first it's time to hit the road to one of our favourite van life spots in the UK. Welcome back to the channel. As promised, we've got some very big news to share with you today. It's exciting, it's sad, it's serious, it's everything. Uh, but first, we're going to go on a road trip. In the cracked up pavement. Ready to go? Yes, I'm so ready to go. I can't wait. Oh, the weather today officially sucks, but it's almost spring, it's almost Easter, and we are going to manifest some good times. So let's go. Back at Johnny's house, his folks were out. White lightning struck like a golden blade. Everyone went crazy, everyone was there that night. Okay, cool. So we have just arrived at actually one of our favourite spots, um, definitely in Brighton and in the UK really. We're so excited to be here back in Brighton and yeah it's really cool because we're right on the seafront. In front of me there's like an adventure playground but just up there is the bit that I love the most about this place. They've got like a swimming pool on the beach and um, a yoga studio, they've got saunas. They've got a coffee shop selling really nice coffee and cakes and um, and then they've got sort of the beach leading up to the pier and it's just really really cool yeah so we're back potentially for the last time so we're really gonna enjoy this Woohoo! we're back in brighton I know. and the blooming <laughs> sun's come out as well i'm so happy because it's not been like this for the last couple of weeks has it janine it's no. been proper rainy it's still blustery it still might chuck it down, it's what the, the, the weather forecast is saying, but the weather forecast is already saying tomorrow's gonna be good. No. So, um, you know tomorrow's gonna be good anyway. Whilst we're in Brighton, should we go in? I wanna get my sister a birthday present. Are we, are we quirky stuff shopping in yes. Brighton? All right, let's go and quirky stuff shop quickly. Okay. Happy with our parking spot on the seafront, we headed off into the quirky and unique town of Brighton, a place that we know and love, to find something a bit different for my sister's birthday and to hunt for Easter eggs. We always love wandering around the shops in the lanes in this seaside city. The only first world problem we have is there are many plant-based treats to tempt us, with Liam finding a giant Biscoff donut to stuff his face with. It was a blustery day, but you can't beat the fresh sea air, and the promise of spring was on its way. Having said that, I got got quite cold so we didn't stay out too long okay cool we are heading back to the van now we've literally got a bag full of chocolate <laughs> not for us though not for us though unfortunately um, and I got my sister's birthday present it's absolutely freezing and the van the warmth of the van is calling Oh, we are back in Morgan. It's been such a long time since I've actually vlogged in the back of here, so it feels really weird, but it feels really good as well. And it's nice and toasty. Um, I'm going to be making something now, um, as it's like Easter. I'm gonna be making some cornflake, chocolate cornflake cakes for my family for Easter. Um, and that's what I intend on doing now. I am not actually eating these because I've given up chocolate for Lent. So this is going to be really difficult for me. <laughs> um, but I'm going to give it a go and I'm just not going to even pick at the chocolate or anything. So wish me luck. What do you think, Liam? I'm giving up chocolate. You've given up chocolate already for a week, Janine. You've yeah. done very well. Oh no, it's been well over a week actually, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But uh, for anyone watching, you know, you might think um, this, you know, firstly, Janine's not religious. Secondly, <sighs> Janine giving up chocolate for Lent chocolate is Janine's drug of choice yeah so it's actually the biggest deal that she's ever done and she's mortified about <laughs> it she's getting better by the day but chocolate would have helped over the last sort of two weeks or whatever to get through the time that we've had um, so thank you I'm 
it's so super, if you can make it all the way to Easter Sunday um, without chocolate, then fair play to you. you. haven't got long left to go, sweetheart. I thought I was long since over and done with you. Was so certain I had left it all. How's it going? It's going well. I'm. I haven't had one bit of chocolate, and it smells so good. So I'm doing well. You are. And these cornflakes, they're like they're thick and chunky. Um, so they're so different to regular cornflakes, but they taste the same. I have had one of those. You're allowed cornflakes. I know. You're not allowed chocolate. I know. And you're not definitely not allowed chocolate on cornflakes. <laughs> what are you doing, Liam? If I can't have any, you can't. Mm -hmm. oh. What? What was that? Tough corn flakes, eh? Really? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Mm. I'm being serious, like, it's like chewing gravel. <laughs> nice, though, like, <laughs> your family are gonna love them. This <laughs> is a break of tea. Just testing it for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. It looks so good. I can't believe I can't eat this. This is just torture. Okay, I'm finished and they all look really good actually. I had to open up the second packet of eggs. I'm so gutted because I tried to scrimp with just two eggs on and it just didn't look right. So yeah, I've used two packets of eggs for this, but it's worth it. And I will just have to buy myself some more. But anyway, this is them. I'm going to stick them in the fridge now to harden and yeah, and then try not to think about them and just give them away really quickly. Um, it's not long until Easter now, so um, I might save myself one and eat it on Easter day. We're still very aware that we've got some big news to share with you, some massive news to share with you. We were going to share it with you today at the location that we're going to now tomorrow because the, the wind's been too strong, the weather's been too bad. Um, so just please hold on and wait till then. Uh, one thing, another thing I was going to say to you and update you on is another reason why we come to Brighton tonight um, is because we, Friday is our like proper treat day. We call it Junk Food Friday. And the reason why is because we, during the week now, these days, we actually fast. Uh, we do one meal a day um, fasting and it works really, really well. Sometimes we don't do it and we go off the rails, but most of the time it works really well because of today. So any time before we saw a treat, you might have seen from the previous videos, we would just consume that treat, including coffees and cakes and all the rest of it. Now we don't do that. Anytime we see a treat, we say, we'll wait till Friday and have it on Friday instead. And as today is Friday and we're in Brighton, we're gonna treat ourselves. And I've already treated myself to a donut already. Janine is giving up chocolate. So as long as she stays away from chocolate, she's okay. So that might explain our gluttony um, today. Sweetheart, yeah. do you fancy going for a drink? It's Sunday, yeah, it's like proper sundown the time. Yeah. I fancy a beer. What do you reckon? Yeah. Huh? There is something from nothing out of thin air. Sundowners, I may not be able to have chocolate, but I can have wine. <laughs> <laughs> Making the most of our parking spot near the beach, we went to a beach bar for a drink whilst the sun was setting. It was way too cold to sit outside today, but it felt pretty cosy with sea views. Okay, we're getting out of here because we have just ordered a plant-based fish and chips to be delivered at Morgan and... Uh, attempted. Attempted to be delivered there. We've never done it before and we just thought we'd give it a go. We've paid for it, we've put the location of where we're parked and we've said just look out for a big green removals van so we'll see how this goes. Arriving back to Morgan, setting up the dinner table, we patiently waited for our food to arrive. Deliveroo? 
Hey! Okay, here we go. Woo! I'm so hungry. Whoa, that is proper. That is so heavy. That's my one. <laughs> that, the, is that one heavy as Hold well? Hold on a second. That, what's in him? What one, do you mean? We've got one wooden fork in the. Whoa. Check that out. That looks amazing. Look at that fish. Do you reckon, do you reckon that's the haddock, the, the plant based haddock? I'm not sure. Oh, that's mine. Wow. That's bigger. I got the, I got the slightly, slightly bigger oh, one. Oh, did you get the bigger one? Okay, yeah. this one's heavier, so that must be yours. This, this is cod. This is plant based cod, and it looks like a piece of fish. That's what's incredible about it. And you know what? That place is famous now, like as being, if you, if you come to Brighton, go to No Catch. Um, just go to No Catch in Brighton on Deliveroo, like we've done in your camper van, <laughs> or go and visit them uh, because they make. Uh, fish out of tofu and it's insane triple cooked chips and look at that that is a thing of beauty and it tastes like fish it looks like fish try it and we're going to try this now ketchup's in there and you've got one of us has got tartar sauce in fact one's got tartar sauce and one's got alioli chips you don't put you don't put this is the one time you exclude ketchup from what you're eating we've got to choose one because i'm, I'm not sharing let me tell you something well, which one do you fancy? You, you choose one, I'll eat the other. Right, I love that one. Condiment queen. Mm -hmm. And I'll have one more dip. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> what? Mm. <laughs> I've got the hiccups. It's good, but your teeth need to be in good order when you're eating, I'm telling you. <laughs> I tried to make them light and airy. I taste so flipping. I taste so flipping jumping, bro. I tell you. That wasn't even put in the fridge, that was the one that was left out. <laughs> oh my word. Good morning, and what a beautiful, beautiful day it is. This is, this is since we've been back, the first proper day of spring. You know, no wind, warm sunshine, t-shirt weather for me, not for Janine, obviously. Um, this is glorious. There's people jogging and running with their dogs. There's people in the sea. Oh, it's absolutely glorious. Uh, but we're leaving. <laughs> we don't want to overstay our welcome. Actually, we're heading to today to where we were going to head yesterday to give you this big news that we've got for you that we've got to share with you before it eats us up. So we're going to get moving. The place where we're heading to is of massive ancient historical significance and presumably quite magical and spiritual at the same time. And it's the perfect place to, to drop this news for you. So off we go and uh, let's go and enjoy the sunshine. You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight the in the in must stay right delight Cold! It's cold isn't it? Should have stayed in Brighton! I know! And we've arrived! We are at a place called Avery Stone Circle uh, we're both really excited to be here actually. We've never been here before. The car park is rammed. Um, yeah, it's very busy here today. There's lots of people walking around. And we are about to head out and go and see the stone circle and give you this big news that we've been talking about. So yeah, I'm just waiting for Liam to get back from 
buying a parking ticket and then we're going to head over there. You're a beautiful sight in the summer night. Oh, this is it, Liam. This is the correct one. Ah. Access to the hench can be found via the high street. You know, you're not allowed up there. Okay, where's the high street? Okay, we've actually found the official stones. It was a bit confusing because I didn't realize it was so big. It's not like Stonehenge where you see the whole circle in front of you. It's like, it's around the entire town. So you have to go on like a 20 minute walk if you want to see all of them. Um, so we're going to start it now. And it starts with this one here right behind me. Um, and there's loads of them with the town directly in the middle. It's really cool actually. I'm, I'm pretty. It's very, very pretty in the heart of the countryside. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's so different. Avebury Village, located in Wiltshire, has one of the largest located stone circles in the world, covering an area of 28 acres. Built during the Neolithic period, dating back 6,000 years, this circle is older than Stonehenge. The exact purpose of this stone circle remains unknown, but these 100 stones are lined up with the movement of the sun and the moon, and it's believed certain rituals were performed here and still are. Many report of the magical properties of the stones and their abilities to enhance psychic abilities Abilities. Liam and I love this side to Britain's ancient history and we have enjoyed travelling around other mythical sites with similar stories. Okay, so you're probably wondering why we brought you to a stone circle today and what the hell is this news that we're going to share with you. I'm going to try and keep it really short and spit it out. It's quite difficult for us and um, when we said it was shocking, it is shocking. So here goes. Uh, as you guys know, we've spent nine months of the last 12 months roughly travelling across India because we got a new engine installed. It was in installed incorrectly. It, that cost us X amount of money and then we've had to get a new engine installed and that has cost us X amount of money and surmounting to £18,000 out of our back pocket. It's a hell of a lot of money, I'm not going to lie to you. Money isn't our highest currency, freedom's our high highest currency, but the money that we've spent on Morgan has limited our freedom somewhat, shall we say, and it's also being, it's also taken the fun out of what we've done. The funny thing is, the ironic thing about everything that's going on is that Morgan is sat here behind me with a brand new engine that's got 12 months warranty on it, all new ancillary parts including clutch and all that sort of stuff, 12 months warranty, he's just been serviced yesterday. The back of him is like a cosy beach shack or cabin or cottage. Um, he's actually, it's almost felt like we spent two years working on him, getting him to be finished. And now he's finished. So, it feels weird and strange saying this, but we, we spent the last sort of two weeks living in Morgan. And if anyone who lives, who's been on the South Coast has seen us, you will have seen us mulling about, properly mulling about. The reason why was because we made a big decision and um, we wanted to make sure we made the right decision. We now know we've made the right decision. So what is that big decision? <clears throat> Here goes. We are going to be giving up Morgan. We love Morgan. He's almost like a family member to us. We put a lot of hard work, effort, hard times, good times, full British travels for, uh, over the last two years in Morgan. And the reason being is the first one you've heard it, I'm not gonna go on about it, it's the, the money that we've spent on Morgan. And I know a lot of you guys have said, set up a GoFundMe, do crowdfunding, all of that. We're not actually, we've never done a GoFundMe before, we've never done crowdfunding before. We don't know too much about it. Uh, it's something that we don't feel like we wanna do yet but thank you for offering those suggestions and the other reason why we need to give up Morgan now and we do need to give him up now as sad as it is is because we've got some big adventures planned and the only way for us to do those big adventures is if we don't have Morgan anymore we need to try and get some of the financial situation back sorted again and then we have got something big planned. And once you see what that is, it's gonna be coming up over the next few months. Once you see what that is, you'll look back on this and you'll go, I totally get it. Um, I can't share with you what that is because it's massive. We're not moving into a house or anything like that. It's, it's just gonna be awesome. But this is the first stage of it. And if we were ever going to sell Morgan, now would be the time based on being able to give the person who we sell him to something that we know is good, top notch, in the best condition he's ever been in a good home. 
you know what I mean? Like that's really, really important for us. So what do you do if you want to buy Morgan yourself? The most important thing is to contact us as quickly as possible. We are giving just one week before we list Morgan on a website for sale, uh, officially, publicly. Uh, we would much rather Morgan go to one of our followers first, but we will be doing that on a first come first serve basis. So if you do want to buy him, please contact us with a reasonable offer very, very soon. Uh, the quicker the better. To contact us, use the email address in the description of this video or through Instagram. Don't use Facebook and don't use, try not to use comments. Although if you can't find a way of doing those other things, YouTube comments is probably the best thing and we'll find a way of contacting each other. If no reasonable offer is accepted, then in one week's time on the 3rd of April, uh, we'll be launching our next video after this one on Wednesday, the 3rd of April, six o'clock in the evening, where we will probably announce that Morgan is listed on a website for sale and then you can go and bid or whatever. Now back to the video. Jumping back in the van, we moved on to sadly spend our last bit of time in the van before the task of clearing out our belongings and clearing the van ready for the next stage of Morgan's journey. Trying not to get too sentimental and looking forward to what's ahead. We obviously want one last evening enjoying the van, so we headed off to one of our local park ups in the area. We know we could have gone to a beautiful open space out in the countryside somewhere, somewhere in nature and wild camped. However, we decided to head to a Tesco's car park for numerous reasons but in Morgan it really doesn't matter where you are once the heaters are on and you get comfy on the sofa with some nice food you could be anywhere and that's how we've lived for the whole time we've been in Morgan our cozy cottage on wheels so let's do some supermarket stealth camping for one last time in Morgan So why are we camping in a Tesco's car park overnight on our very last night in Morgan when we can camp anywhere? The reason being is we've had a really nice experience here and symbolic of, of our whole time in Morgan. Uh, we parked here, we did a supermarket, our first supermarket stealth camp in Morgan, I believe. We did it for like three or four days in a row and, uh, the, and we got away with it. It was near Christmas time, we put decorations up in the back, we got away with it. Anyway, we put the video out there, the video did very well. We went off to India, we came back from India, we parked in this spot here when we came back from India for one night, got up in the morning, went outside, and literally there were six members of Tesco staff waiting outside the van, pointing cameras at the van, saying, sorry, you can't park here. I went, what, you being serious? And they turned around and went, nah, we're just joking. We saw your video, we absolutely loved it. Feel free to park here when you want. Would you like any tea, coffee, toast? And that's just, such a nice experience as you can imagine with all of the maybe hate to what we think is towards van lifers if you leave a positive impact where you go it doesn't always have to be sort of negative um so that's why we're here we're going to celebrate that when we did that before and we we supermarket stealth camp before we had lasagna we had a lovely time we watched some movies so that's what we're going to do tonight as our very very last night in morgan try not to get too sentimental to be honest with you so yeah as liam said we are about to cook a lasagna i'm so hungry and we're gonna have a little bit of a evening tonight in morgan as it's our last night um so we're gonna have like a movie night we're by tesco so we're gonna run in and grab some popcorn and yeah i'm really excited it's the perfect way to end this two years of being in this gorgeous van so yeah let's get cooking <laughs> One do you want? We've got two lasagnas. One is a rainbow lasagna, and I'm not sure what the other one is, but I know the other one's from Marks and Spencers. What one do you want? You, I know that you've been eyeing up the Marks and Spencers <laughs> one. The Marks and Spencers looks so good. This is the M&S. 
and that looks really good. Is it not hot? It's really hot. It's burning my fingers. And, and that's the rainbow one. Tesco's Izzy's. It smells really good. That yeah, that's all right. Really good. You've got the better one. Have, I'm <laughs> and some garlic bread. Oh, that's burning my fingers. Just cut it into half and put it on the plate. There we go. Thank you. We sat and enjoyed our last evening in Morgan, eating lasagna and making the most of being in this beautiful van one last time. We're going to miss Morgan like crazy, but knowing that Morgan is in the most perfect condition to sell, we are also very grateful to grab this opportunity to begin the next chapter of our lives. We hope you share our excitement and are looking forward to seeing what happens next. We'll leave a link in the description of this video where tickets are available to buy Morgan now. Right. With you and I, the future is bright.